Welcome there my viewer, this is your friendly neighborhood astronomer Joroge Moses. Today I want to do yet another astronomy video. This time I'm going to use Stellarium to demonstrate revolution of planets around the Sun. So first of all what I'm going to do once when I have uh, logged in into my software Stellarium the first thing I want to do, since I'm recording during the day, I remove the atmosphere so that I get a feeling of the night sky at that particular time of the day by pressing A, keyboard shortcut. You can learn about them here on the help window. Alternatively, watch the basic introduction video I did on Stellarium, and then you come watch this video so that you can be able to know how to use this software. So once I've removed the atmosphere, I also do remove the ground by pressing G. I've removed my ground. My cardinal points are still there. They're still visible. So since I want to demonstrate the orbits of the planets, what I do, I set the following parameters. I come here on the left hand side, there is this window panel that comes in when you bring your mouse to this side under the sky and viewing option window or you press F4 this dialog box will come up and the first thing you do on this dialog box under sky there is what is known as the dynamic eye adaptation this helps you to dim faint stars so you switch it off first so that you can be able to get a good feeling of those astronomical bodies that you want to look at under the solar system objects ensure it is on use more accurate 3d models click on that one show orbits that's what we're interested in you can see at the back here right here where my mouse is you can see them like the orbit of venus has appeared click also on permanent and then ob orbits of major planets click on that one also show trails you can also click on that one. Once you have done that, close this window. You can see your window now appears a little bit messy, but you're going to uh, fine tune it. So press also here, sorry, come back here again on your search window. Type in solar system observer. That's where we want to observe these orbits of the planets. Once you have done that, press Ctrl G. And then use your mouse to adjust so that you can be able to see these orbits. So you can see there they are coming in to focus. You can zoom out to get a good feeling. Just adjust so that you can see them clearly. So if I try, it's somehow tricky, but you can do it once you do more practice on it. Once, let me see the best view that we can get. I can't zoom in further than that. But from here, you're able to see those orbits of the planets. So you can see the sun is over there. You can see the next planet, Mercury. You have Venus, you have Earth. The next orbit is for Mars. Let me try and put it into focus. Uh, see if we can get it into focus. Okay, it's not coming in, but in between Earth and Jupiter, Mars has to be there. Uh, but apparently it's not coming into focus. But let's continue. So you have Jupiter, and then you have Saturn, you have Uranus. So this is what is referred to as the heliocentric model of the universe. Heliocentric model here means the sun is the one at the center and the other planets are revolving around it. This was actually uh, proposed by people like Nicholas Copernicus, Galileo Galilei, Isaac Newton also. Before that we had the geocentric model where the earth was believed to be the center of the universe and the other heavenly bodies are revolving and rotating 
while the earth is at a fixed point. Some people try to read that model into the Bible, especially when they go to the book of Joshua chapter 10, where he commanded the, the sun to stand still in the heavens. But personally, as a science teacher, I think that's wrong interpretation of the scripture because even up to today, scientists use words like the sun is moving, yet them themselves don't believe that the sun is actually moving. I think the Bible doesn't tell us um, how the structure of the universe is, that is cosmology, but actually I think the Bible talks about cosmogony, which is actually more about the origin and the history of the, of the universe. I think if you stick to cosmogony, when you are referring to the Bible, I think that would be more accurate instead of sticking to cosmology talking about the structure of the universe. Uh, so, but that's besides the point. What I want to demonstrate is the orbits of these planets. So there you have those orbits. And actually, if you come down here, you can click on this to show them as they move. And if I click this button, this forward button there it is. So you can see Mars has come into focus. You have Mercury, which is closest to the Sun, moving faster. Venus, there you have Earth, Mars, Jupiter there is moving, and you have Saturn there is moving. So that's a basic introduction showing you how we can use this software to demonstrate the orbits of these planets. As Just as a quick, by the way, I have very good books on astronomy. This one is a very good pocket-sized friendly book on astronomy that I would recommend if you can get it. This one I bought off the streets. Also, you have this book about the heavens, Proclaim the Glory. This one is more of a Christian literature astronomical book that is published by ICR, I believe, Institute of Creation Research. And a more advanced book on astronomy this one, if you want to read deep things about astronomy and some astronomy softwares that I normally use for the purpose of studying astronomy. Otherwise, thanks for watching this video. That is all I wanted to show you to demonstrate this solar system as they move around the sun. So enjoy this view. You can see again, they have set it into motion. So there they are moving. So my viewers, thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for more video clips that I'm going to make on astronomy. This is your friendly neighborhood astronomer signing off. Bye bye.